What's going on, my PT peeps? My Walking Dead family and my fighters. I'm One Eyebrow, also known as PT. You don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about The Walking Dead and the major confirmed news about the ending of The Walking Dead show, a new spinoff. Man, some crazy stuff went down news-wise today, September 9th, 2020. Obviously, spoiler warning for all things Walking Dead show, comic spinoffs, everything related to The Walking Dead universe. Spoiler warning. And I'll make it quick, guys, but if you can, please hit the subscribe button to stay in the know. By subscribing, you won't miss any videos. Liking the video really helps the channel out, as well as donating. We have a Patreon, membership program, live streams every Sunday, also a book series on Amazon, and paperback and digital format on Kindle. Hope you join the fight and pick up your copy today. Now, per Skybound, The Walking Dead, at The Walking Dead, breaking, The Walking Dead will conclude in 2022 with an extended 24-episode 11th and final season. In 2023, Angela Kang will return to helm a fourth Walking Dead series starring Norman Reedus and Melissa McBride. Details in this link that I'll share with you in the article over this video. But huge rumor? When I broke the news hours ago, it was a rumor. And then all of a sudden, it's confirmed like that. Per the TW Universe spoilers, it was a rumor, says all the same things there. The news was first published by IGN and then deleted, and it was on FSX Magazine. Well, this is from Skybound. Johnny Odell's article is going to be the one we're going to reference, but he wrote this on September 9th, 2020. The Walking Dead, Cable's most popular show based on Robert Kirkman's best-selling comic, will come to a close in 2022. That's so long, guys. That's so far down the road, but it's like an ending, so people are freaking out. With a 24-episode 11th and final season, COO Scott Gipple said in a press release, it's been 10 years gone by. What lies ahead are two more to come and stories and stories to tell beyond that, said Gimple. What's clear is that the show has been about the living, made by a passionate cast, team of writers, producers, producers and crew, bringing in life to the vision put forth by Robert Kirkman in his brilliant comic and supported by the best fans in the world. He added, this will be a grand finale that will lead to new premieres. Evolution is upon us. The Walking Dead lives. But it sounds like the end, right? even though they have plans for stuff going forward. The Walking Dead to conclude with expanded two year 11th season as the Walking Dead universe continues to expand. Groundbreaking flagship series will be followed by spinoff focused on the Daryl Dixon and Carol Pelletier characters run by current The Walking Dead showrunner Angela Kang and co-created by Kang and Scott M. Gimple. AMC is also developing with Gimple a Tales of the Walking Dead series a new episodic anthology focused on new and existing characters, backstories, and standalone experiences, among other planned extensions of the universe. So I can't wait to see what it's all about. Are we going to get a Negan spinoff? Are we going to get other stuff with Negan, previous characters, new characters, CRM, the Commonwealth? I can't wait to find out. New York, New York, September 9th, 2020. AMC announced today that its groundbreaking series, The Walking Dead, which made history as the highest rated series in the history of cable television and has given life to a vibrant and expanding content universe, will end with an expanded two year 11th season that will span 24 episodes with the previously announced six extra season 10 episodes scheduled for early next year there are 30 remaining episodes of the flagship series that will run through late 2022 again that's so far down the road 2022 as the walking dead universe continues to expand the original series will be followed by a greenlit spin-off focused on the popular daryl dixon norman Reedus, and carol pelletier melissa mcbride characters which will premiere in 2023 and be run by the current walking dead showrunner i said all that before so 2022 and 2023 and that's crazy to think that after the season 10 finale we only have 30 episodes left but it makes sense that carol and daryl who are clearly safe in this season 10 finale are going to have their own show they i believe have really the only contracts left that we know of for sure i'm sure that certain people have contracts for the future of the walking dead but i don't know who it is we know that carol and daryl signed three-year deals i believe season 10 was one year of the three-year deal so there could be two left it's been 10 years gone by. What lies ahead are two to come. This is all said before previously in the article. So the evolution is upon us is pretty interesting. The Walking Dead lives. 
I look forward to digging in with our brilliant writers, producers, directors, cast, and crew to bring this epic final chapter of Robert Kirkman's story to life for our fans over the next two years, said Kang. The Walking Dead flagship series has been my creative home for a decade, and so it's bittersweet to bring it to an end, but I could not be more excited to be working with Scott Gimple and AMC to develop a new series for Daryl and Carol. Working with Norman Reedus and Melissa McBride has been a highlight of my career, and I'm thrilled that we get to keep telling stories together. So it's interesting that they're talking about the final chapter. So I guess they're gonna run its course of the Walking Dead comic. You know, they gotta have the Commonwealth story arc, and the Miltons, and Mercer, and Stephanie, and Eugene, and then, you know, problems with the Walkers, and the Walkers die out. So that's pretty interesting, right? I wonder if they're going to actually go the route of the comic, have a time jump, several time jumps, but how does it connect with Rick? Rick better be reunited with RJ, and Michonne, and Judith, and Daryl, and people that we know, right? It just hope it makes sense, because there's no way that Daryl will not go after Rick or try to find Rick if and most likely when he finds out that Rick is alive. Because that'd be pretty crappy if we know Rick's alive and Daryl doesn't, what, what are they gonna do there? I mean, Rick, Daryl, Carol, Judith, RJ, Michonne, Morgan, certain things have to happen in my opinion and we'll see if it does. And I really hope this plan works out. The Walking Dead made television history as one of the rare creative works that has given life to an entire content universe that is still in the early stages of growing and entertaining both new and established fans, said Ed Carroll, COO of AMC Networks. We can't wait to bring viewers this expanded final season of The Walking Dead over the next two years and launch the fourth series in the history of the franchise, focused on the beloved Daryl and Carol characters with the incredibly talented Norman Reedus, Melissa McBride, Angela Kang, and Scott and Gimple. There really is so much walking ahead in a number of very exciting directions for this extraordinary creative universe we call The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead premiered on Halloween night in 2010 as the number one cable series launch of all time, later surpassed by other AMC series for The Walking Dead, Better Call Saul, and Into the Badlands, and is the most watched series in cable history. It was also the first cable series to become the number one show in all of television, including broadcast, a rank it held for five consecutive years. In its current 10th season, The Walking Dead remains the number one series on cable television for the 11th consecutive year. All of the top 73 cable entertainment telecasts for the past decade have been airings of The Walking Dead. So the history has shown this show has done big things for AMC and really television, right? So I wonder if Daryl is going to get on his motorcycle with Carol and they're going to go somewhere. New Mexico. Remember they talked about it in season 10 at the beginning of it? Daryl brought it up. So is that foreshadowing? What is the future for these two characters? Why would they ever leave Alexandria? Because if it's their show, where are they going to go? What are they going to do? Who are they going to meet? Can't wait to find out. So The Walking Dead is great, but this series has also given life to a vibrant and expanding universe that is currently including Talking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, returning for its sixth season, not fifth season, sixth season, The Walking Dead World Beyond, a new series about the first generation raising the apocalypse, debuting on October 4th a feature film being produced by Universal and Skybound alongside AMC focused on the Rick Grimes, Andrew Lincoln character, a new spinoff planned for 2023 focused on the popular Daryl and Carol characters, and the new Tales of the Walking Dead episodic anthology series in addition to the AMC linear network and owned platforms like AMC Plus, AMC's digital platforms. The Walking Dead universe content have migrated to become focal points of an expanding array of ad-supported video on demand platform streaming services in addition to robust international distribution. So it's done big things and it's made a lot of money, that's for sure. But guys, it's still down the road. That's not this year. That's not next year. That's 2022. It's September 9th, 2020 as I make this video. So that's probably two years away and season 11 will probably premiere in October, and then we still have maybe another season of Fear the Walking Dead, then we have another season of Walking Dead World Beyond, plus the Rick Grimes movie, if not movies, you know, they said movie, so I'll have to see if it's gonna be the trilogy still, 
or what's going to happen, but there looks to be a lot more stuff down the road for the Walking Dead universe and spinoffs. So let me know your thoughts, post your comments below, stay safe, and tell them, Daryl. No, we love you guys. Honestly, thank you.